I'm Joan Epler. Please join with Dr. Gary Epler, Harvard Medical School. Dr. Epler recently discovered new brain science, and today we're going to talk about how this applies to being your true self. I'm Dr. Gary Epler. I made a new brain science connection about transferring unhealthy thinking to healthy thinking. I call this Know Who You Are Moment by Moment. Today, we're going to apply this to being your true self. This new brain, brain science is that you can only think out of one region of your brain at a time. So know the brain region you're thinking from, and that's who you are moment by moment. How does this apply to being your true self? First, what are the benefits of being yourself, of knowing who you are? Here's the answer. It's freedom. You're told who you are by parents, teachers, and friends. Your whole life, at least the beginning of it. Then you're told who you are by your first boss, or else you get fired. And you're con continuously told who you are by society, or you end up in jail. Be your true self. You're free. You don't need to compare yourself to anyone. You don't need to be anyone else, especially that perfect person in your mind that you've developed. This is not needed. You know who you are. Does everyone discover who they are? What happens to people who never learn who they are? Unfortunately, too many people never make the transition. Too many people go through their whole lives never knowing who they are. They're always acting. They're always trying to act like someone else. They're trying to be someone else. This causes stress, unhappiness, it's unhealthy, and it causes lack of trust. You can't trust people who don't know who they are. You can't trust people who aren't their true selves because you don't know who they are. They're trying to be someone else. How do you discover who you are? No one knew for years and years and years and centuries. And I certainly didn't know how. I was asked this question a year or so ago, and I didn't have an answer. Well, let's start the story. It begins 3,400 years ago with the saying, Know thyself, carved in granite. Socrates came along and wrote, The unexamined life is not worth living. And Aristotle wrote, To know thyself is the beginning of wisdom. The Swiss psychiatrist Carl Jung wrote, The privilege of a lifetime is to become who you truly are. This is amazing. This information has been around for 3,400 years. The benefits are certainly well known, but how do you do it? I discovered some new brain science that gives the answer. Know who you are idea is too general. It doesn't help us. We're all types of people. We're parents, husbands, wives, teachers, students. We're all types of people throughout the day. This doesn't help. The science shows that you can know who you are moment by moment. The key words are moment by moment. There are several brain regions. They're all separate. And they're all independent, with no communication between them. And you can only think from one region at a time. So, you do know who you are, moment by moment. Because it's the brain region you're thinking Sounds from. easy. You know who you are, moment by moment. Because you know what brain region you're thinking from. What type of thinking comes from the different brain regions? The prefrontal cortex, the PFC, and the frontal cortex, those are those advanced brain regions for human beings. And that's where we think about and we make decisions, positive relationships, creativity, all those good human things we do. Thinking from these regions, it's healthy, they're productive, and it's creative. The pleasure center is also located near these regions, and it's called the accumbens region. You need to know something else about that accumbens region. You go there to the pleasure center from positive, naturally occurring events, having lunch with a friend or your spouse, not from sugar, alcohol, or drugs, because this is also the Are there any bad center. regions to avoid? Yes, there are. 
This is where it's very helpful to know your brain region moment by moment. There are two of them, the anger center and the self-thinking center called the cingulate. Everyone knows about the anger center. It's called the amygdala. And everyone knows to get out of there as fast as you can in seconds. Staying there for longer causes the cortisol, that adrenaline response. It's unhealthy. How could thinking about yourself be bad? I asked that question myself. Let's find out. Take a hundred people, put them in a functional MRI, and ask them a simple question. Don't think about yourself. They do, of course. They think about how they made a mistake that day, and the red light goes on. They feel sorry for themselves because they're not doing as well as someone else. They have bad thoughts about other people, resentment, retaliation, jealousy, judgment. The red light is blinking furiously. They learn to stop that red light. They learn to stop thinking about themselves. Let's check in on them three months after that. They're healthier, more productive, more creative. They enjoy life more. They're happier. They're better What would you like to have people do? Better citizens. Transfer out of Sounds like the right thing to do. Is it easy? Seconds. Oh, it's easy. Let's do the first one. How do you you transfer out of the anger center? Anger is defined as something's been taken from you, usually in a personal manner. You get fired, you get thrown out of school. But more commonly, sort of day to day, your integrity is taken, your pride is taken, your time, your enjoyment is taken. Makes you angry. Something triggers that anger center. One of these things triggers that anger center. This causes that adrenaline, sympathetic nervous system response with increased blood pressure, heart rate, shuts down the immune system, shuts down the digestive system, and it causes inflammation, which causes heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, and a shortened life. You don't need any of these. You need to get out of here within seconds. That's why you need to transfer out before these harmful effects. There are many ways to do this. My favorite is to feel the anger. By tightening your face and your fists, just feel it, feel it, feel it. Let it peak in six to eight seconds. No other thought, just feel that anger it will release. It will transfer you to another positive brain region. The reason is, is that there is no emergency. There is no life-threatening emergency, so the amygdala is no longer needed. And that is why the the parasympathetic system, the calming system, kicks in to produce calm and get you out of that amygdala anger center. You acknowledge the anger, you obtain the benefit, and release. No second or third thought. Another way out is to do the opposite. Anger means something's been taken, so give. Give. Give your time. Give your help. This also works with fear. Feel it. Let that fear, just feel the feeling that's usually in your belly. Just that sensation, just feel it and feel it and let it peak. How do you transfer out of the self-thinking singular region? Thinking from the self-thinking brain region causes stress and that adrenaline response, just like we talked about. Learn to get out of that singular brain region in a few seconds to prevent these harmful effects. It's healthier, more productive. And you'll be happier. This is what I want people to do. Know that you're in this brain region. Realize you're thinking from this self-centered region. If the thoughts are about being mean to yourself, you made a mistake, you did something wrong, so you beat yourself up, you call yourself an idiot and so forth, or you're feeling sorry for yourself, you feel everybody else is doing well and you're not, this is all thinking from the singulate So do the opposite. Be kind to yourself. Self-compassion. 
Say, I made a mistake. Yes, acknowledge that mistake. Then think about the benefits. There's always a benefit. And then move on. Move on. Just move on to something else. Create something better. Now, if you're thinking about bad thoughts toward other people, blame, criticism, judgment, jealousy, and even retaliation. Acknowledge the thought, get the benefit, and get out. These are taking behaviors, taking from other people. So give. Learn to be your true self. The less you think about yourself, the more you'll be your true self. Do you have any closing comments? Learn to be your true self. As Joan said, the less you think about yourself, the more you'll be your true self. You don't have to compare yourself to anyone. You don't have to try to be anyone else. You live a life free from blame, criticism, judgment, and stress. Learn to get out of that anchor center and the self-thinking center in a few seconds. You live an extraordinary life. This is Joan Epler and Dr. Gary Epler closing today's segment. Next time, we'll talk about breathing.